Shalom Amakim, all praises, honor, glory goes the Yah, Bashem Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim, pushing out this word of true sincerity. Yishbel Chanak, coming to you with another lesson, uh, another sit down lesson. Um, as we know, we are in the last days, okay? And there's no debating that fact. As the apostle and elder Tahar, he deemed this year. Uh, 2020 the year of prophecy and we're seeing the prophecies come to pass okay we're seeing you know uh the build up of sedition among men we're seeing you know uh as of right now today is march the 16th uh pretty much the world is on lockdown over 100 million people in europe are on lockdown quarantine okay and uh right now the united states is taking measures to lock down everybody okay uh the city i'm in i'm in um you know the bay area and a lot of the counties are locked down a lot of gyms you know a lot of uh, all the schools only a few things are open as of midnight tonight pretty much uh people are going to be in over in over a two week self quarantine you know people are uh having to stop work you know commerce is not going on so what's going to happen the society is going to crash and this is all plans of yabashimal shai to destroy this place Okay, to br to break down the, the current government structure. Okay, Esau, he has a plan to bring in his new world order, which uh, those who have uh, eyes to see, see what he's doing. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices, as the scriptures say. And we're starting to see the fear, okay, of the people uh, all around the world. Okay, and this is affecting everybody. This is not something that you see, you know, uh, you watch videos on YouTube or the news. They're reporting in China, you know, lockdowns. No, this is actually happening in cities near you. Now, it's not everywhere right now, but it's going to be. Now, this could be an event to, you know, spark more events, more prophecies of taking place. Uh, whether this, you know, after, you know, a couple of weeks, this normalizes, the damage has already been done. A new precedent has already been set. Okay, we're in the year of prophecy. We're in the end days. All right, we're in the end times. And we're looking for this man to bring in that RFID microchip, which he has that technology set up. All right, he wants to bring a new world order. And meanwhile, while this man is trying to bring his new world order, Yah Bashma Shai is setting up the new world order. Okay, which Yahweh Shai, he's going to come back and establish that. Okay, Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Christ. We know him as the Messiah, Hamashiach. Yahweh Shai is his name. Okay, and the men. Uh, the true, the true elect men, the 144,000, they're the ones in the last days that will be singing this song of destruction. All right, let me bring out a couple of scriptures. You know, I had some scriptures on my mind. I was just been meditating, you know, the whole day. Well, I will, you know, when the spirit allowed me to do a video, what I will bring out. And, you know, I'm just going to go, you know, however the spirit lead me, but just go into, you know, the times that we're in now. OK, because our main focus right now is uh, pushing out. These prophecies to, to show you, okay, to show you people, okay, even the other nations, of why these things are happening on the planet Earth, okay, because no nobody's really experienced this. People people are getting scared, and this is just the beginning. Nothing has really happened. This is just the beginning. As we speak about the beginning of sorrows, we're just coming into the beginning of sorrow. Things are not going to normalize for the better, okay. Things might settle down. Yet you're going to get hit with another plague, just as during the time of Egypt. And I'm going to bring that out of Lord's will in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, because we're coming into that chapter. We're in that chapter. OK, as well as we're in Matthew, the 24th chapter. We're pretty much in all these chapters. We're in these last days. We're in the book of Revelation also. This is uh, Jeremiah 28 and, uh, and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy against many countries and against great kingdoms of war. And of evil and of pestilence. And that's uh, exactly what we're uh, prophesying about. Okay, Because we believe that we are the prophets coming back in the reincarnation. Because we are doing all the things that the prophets have done. Okay, And not of our will. As of, if we go back into Jeremiah. Let me go to the first chapter. This is not of our will. We didn't, we didn't expect to do this. Okay, we were just normal, normal jakes growing up in America. Not knowing what the hell is going on. Not knowing our nationality. You know, having aspirations to be, you know, professional athletes or, you know, professional singers, go into the business world, go to college, 
whatever you know aspirations and dreams that you had that was all stopped by the, ha the heavenly father Yahabashimah Shai why? well let me bring the scripture out this is Jeremiah uh, the first chapter verse 5 before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee and before thou camest forth out of the womb I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations you see that? So we did not we didn't know that we were going to be prophets. Okay, this is not a this is not our choice. Okay, we we can't resist the will of Yahweh Shemashad. Yet we are grateful that he has opened up our eyes because he could have he could have uh you know left us out there. You know, uh, a lot of our people are blinded. Okay, you can read Isaiah six and nine how the Lord he has the angel to blind the, the eyes of our people, even though this word is directly in front of their face. Even though the prophecies are directly happening in front of their face, Esau is locking down stuff. Jake's still, you know, joking. Jake's still making rap music, uh, uh, you know, about, you know, the situation, the coronavirus. They're making light of the situation, you know, um, when when we're in very serious times. We're in a time where the Lord is, is coming to visit the earth. He's not coming to give hugs and to tell the world, you know, that, you know, you're on the right path. No, the Lord, he's coming to destroy this place. And he's has and he has plagues being set up. Okay, this can spark famines. All right, this is sparking the economic collapse. This economy is is going to be destroyed. They're saying that the air, airlines are going to be bankrupt. How many people are going to lose work? How many people are going to lose their money? How many people are going to, you know, um, lose you know lose their livelihood over this thing? Over you know even if it's a couple of weeks. Okay, I, I've done a video, you know, many other brothers did a video over, uh, I want to say 80 to 90% of people are living paycheck to paycheck in the United States. And there's been many articles and, and, and news pieces that have uh, proven that fact, have brought that fact out. That most people are living paycheck to paycheck. So, as of, I believe it was last year, the, the government shut down. You know, people were scared. People forgot about that. People forgot how fragile, you know, this society is, how at any given moment, you know, something can happen to where you're you're done. All right. People are rushing to grocery stores, panic buying. And, and like I said, nothing has really took in place. Nothing has really happened. Now, whether this coronavirus is, you know, overrated or not, this is doing exactly what the Heavenly Father wants it to do. All right. And these are the birth pains that America and the world are experiencing because the Lord is coming to destroy this place. Okay, he's not coming to bring peace on earth. Let me bring out another scripture. Give me a second. Let me pull it up. Bring out Luke 12. Luke 12 and... Where am I? Yeah, this is Luke 12 and 51. Suppose ye that I come to get peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. For for uh, for from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided. There's uh, th there against a uh, three against two and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father and the mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother and the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and the daughter daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And this is this is what uh, this coronavirus is going to um, going to separate people. You know, people are going to be quarantined. You know, there's going to be just think because the, the government is telling you if there's one person with, you know, this uh, this issue, everybody has to be quarantined. OK, right now, people in the United States, uh, I know in California, I know New York, certain other places, you know, there's there's uh, they're 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 enacting a shutdown to where you have to be quarantined inside your house. Only a few grocery stores are open. Only, you know, uh, certain things you can do. OK, and very soon they're going to have the police, you know, basically, uh, basically martial law. They're going to have the police uh, implementing these mandatory, you know, uh, you know, these mandatory curfews like they're doing in different parts of Europe. Now, what happens when the food runs out? You know, you have a greedy person in the house eating up all the food, hoarding the food in their room. You know, that's going to that's going to get people to turn on each other. OK, within their family. OK, possibly kill each other within their family because over food, because there's going to be a lack of bread. There's going to be a lack of water. And during that time, people are going to turn to their basic uh, state. 
their basic low state of being a beast. Okay, carnal. Now, over uh, us men of the Lord, okay, uh, us of Great Millstone, those who believe on the names of Yah Bashman Shai, where's our trust? Where's our faith going, uh, going to be in these days? It's going to be in Yah Bashman Shai, which he's the one who's going to supply us with everything that we need. Yeah, because things are going to get tough. Okay, you you possibly lost your job over this, you know, certain brothers, or possibly you know no work, and you don't have any money. Okay, uh, living paycheck to paycheck, yet you can't waver. Okay, your faith can't waver because the Lord He has something in store for each individual. Okay, to bring us through that fire. Okay, while the whole world is in chaos, the 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 men of the Lord, their minds are going to be uh, uh, firm. Yet we are going to go through that. You know the hour of temptation as the whole world is going to go through the hour of temptation so you know this is this is just a beginning test of your faith and weak in the weak men they're going to fall they're going to fall okay and nothing has really happened Esau has not really come in Esau has not really uh, you know brought the hammer which that is the the, 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 the hand of Yahweh Shaman Shah on the left hand side okay let me bring out some more scriptures uh, let me bring out I wanted to bring out Isaiah 24 because we're basically in that time where uh, Esau, he shut down all the clubs, all nightclubs are shut down. OK, I'm speaking um, in California. I know for sure in California, uh, in, in northern California, uh, all the nightclubs are shut down. All the pubs, you know, are shut down. All the gyms are shut down. All the bars are shut down. OK, non-essential, you know, uh, places are shut down. Schools are shut down. All these places to where, you know, people find pleasure in, you know, um, you know, public events. They, they said, OK, over uh, uh, 50 people, you know, they want to council gatherings over 50. OK, then then it changed to gatherings over 10. And that that includes in your house. So you can't even meet up with friends within your house. You know, that's that's pretty much damn near illegal. And they're going to make these things mandatory. OK, well, uh, at first they're voluntary. And then they're going to make these things mandatory. They're going to make curfew mandatory. And how and how are they going to implement these things? How are they going to force these things? They're going to force it by the military. They're going to force it by the government. They can come and lock your ass up. Okay, if you don't abide by these rules. Okay, if you're out uh, past curfew, they're going to lock you up. And then what? Then you're really then you're really screwed. Okay, you're going to be subject. You're going to be locked up in a detention center. They're going to have these FEMA camps set up. All these things are already set up. We've been telling you from our apostles and elders. Or down for years that these things are coming to pass. Yet our people, you know, Jake, they take these things for granted because it's not happening directly to them at this particular time. But now we're in that time. Okay? And like, like I say, maybe this might settle down a little bit. What's going to happen? Jake's going to go right back to sleep. Okay? You're not going to have any sense of urgency. And that's, and, that's, uh, and that's the spirit because the scriptures talk about how the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. Now how... We, we know the Lord's not going to come as a thief in the night to those that are in the north. No, because it's, it's evident that the Lord is on his way back. It's evident that these things are happening because these things are taken right out of prophecy, out of the book. Things that are written uh, 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 aforetime. It's not going to take us by surprise because we're watching. Okay, we're staying vigilant. We're staying sober minded. Okay, we're not, we're not uh, uh, in the spirit of banqueting. We're not in the spirit of partying. We're not in the spirit of drunkenness. Okay. We're in the spirit of Yah Bashman Shai, which is what? It's which, is, which is watching for these prophecies. Yet, these things are going to take our people by surprise, namely two thirds. Even though shutdowns like this are happening, even though different type of natural disasters are happening, and, and like I said, this is just the beginning. This is the, the just the very beginning. Nothing has happened. Okay, people have not even been really been dying. Okay, earthquakes haven't really been hitting this place. We talk about earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes haven't really been hitting this place. Tsunamis haven't really been hitting this place. The famine, the famine haven't really hit this place. Okay, the famine of the word. Just, just think right now, okay, of the internet shut off. Just think the internet just locked down. Esau locked down the internet. What are you people going to do? People's livelihoods are going to be lost. People, uh, uh, you know, they depend on the Internet to interact with family and friends. That's how they interact with people. That's how they see what's going on in the world. That's how they are connected to the world. When that thing, when that all that gets cut off, what's going to happen? You're, you're going to bug out. You're going to be looking for answers. This is uh, Isaiah 24. I'm going to start at uh, uh, 
at four, it says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languisheth and fadeth away, the haughty people of the earth do languish. And, you know, this is this is starting to happen, how the people are starting to diminish in strength. You know, I was talking to, uh, you know, uh, 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 Elamite, and he and he he was he was he was basically scared. He was telling me how everything he does, you know, it feels like the universe is, is against him. And then now this coronavirus and, you know, his he started a new business and now his business is done. You know, he, he pretty much lost all his uh, his, uh, his life savings. He's totally stressed out. OK, he's totally stressed out. And you know what I told him? I said, this is just the beginning. And he just looked at me. Things are going to get worse. OK, so that's the, the mindset of these people, because they believe everything that the government tells them. And ultimately, th this is for these people to uh, be destroyed. This is for these people to be scared. OK, to be in perplexity. To be in bewilderment while while we're going to be we're, we're going to be stable. And, and that's how you're going to know who a man of the Lord is during this time, because we're going to be stable. We're going to we're actually going to be in a joyous state. Uh, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, broken the ordinances, uh, broken the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. That's Esau. And so as uh, so as the king, so are his people. OK, the people of Babylon. And this and this is really going for the whole world because that Esau's philosophy, his doctrine is spread throughout the whole world. So what are people giving into? They're giving into the flesh. They're giving into, you know, uh, destroying the animals, destroying the earth, destroying themselves, you know, living uh, do as thou wilt. They're in the do as thou wilt spirit. And there's consequences to that spirit. OK, everything that you do is weighed in balance. OK, whether it be good, whether it be bad. Okay, and the Heavenly Father is going to judge you accordingly. Okay, so all these things have been messed up. The, the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. All you, you dirty people, you wicked people. Okay, uh, you know you have all you have the porn industry, where you that's just sickening. Okay, you have homosexuals, you have lesbians. That's on that's on a ramp. That's that's going rampant. Okay, transgenderism. That's going rampant. Okay, a bestiality, that's going rampant. Okay, adultery. Okay, theft. Murders. That this world is totally this world is totally done. Okay? So the Lord, he's going to finish it off with these thermonuclear missiles. Okay, he's going to finish America off and 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 in different parts of the world. Okay, you're going to go, you're going to you're going to uh you're going to die. A lot of a lot of the the world's population, they're going to die. And those who are saved, okay, from the destruction that are not part of the elect, you're going to go into captivity. It says, therefore, has the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. What's that curse? The ultimate curse is the thermonuclear missiles. Because beyond, because um, you know, in all these things are happening. Yet people are forgetting that America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. These these other nations are going to come against America. Amidst the coronavirus, th this is just, we haven't even started, it, nothing has really even happened. We are just starting, okay? This is just one event that the Lord was like, okay, let me, let me shake, let me shake a couple of things up. Okay, and, and men that are in their right mind, they should, they should be in even more, a more serious spirit, okay? Okay, because the Lord, he can just destroy you. Okay, you lollygagging. What did it tell you in Revelation 3? It tells you about being hot and about being cold. Okay, and about being lukewarm. Okay, what spirit are you in? The most high he can get you. The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, all the merry heart do sigh. So we're coming to the time where all the merry heart are going to sigh. You you go to the club to get merry hearted. Okay, to drink. Okay, to meet women or women meet men, to party, to dance. Those things are shut down. Okay, those things, those all those things are shut down. Okay, you you gonna go to the store? There's gonna be no liquor. There's gonna be no alcohol. Alcohol is to make your you know forget your problems. What's gonna happen? It's gonna, it's gonna be none of that. Okay, you are gonna go and get cigarettes? There's gonna be no cigarettes. Okay, the weed man he gonna be on lockdown. Okay, the man selling the the the, the drug man he gonna be on lockdown. He ain't gonna you ain't gonna be able to get those drugs. You ain't gonna be able to get that crystal meth, that cocaine. Okay. 
Those who go to work, you're not going to be able to go to work. You're not going to be able to have that money. Okay, so what are you going to do? You're going to turn to a, a life of crime. You're going to go and you're going to steal things. Because you have no choice. You're going to be brought to a state of having no choice but to turn into an animal. Okay, and to take and to kill. The mirth of tabret ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoiceth endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. So everything that makes you joyous and happy, you know, these different sporting events, all those things are shut down. Okay, the NBA is shut down, NFL is shut down, MLB is shut down, the soccer is shut down. Okay, they're they're talking about shutting down the Olympics. And who the hell is gonna be watching the Olympics when, you know, their life is in disarray. Okay, they they are they're on shutdown, they're on lockdown. They're scared of all these things that are coming to the earth. Who the hell? Who the hell is gonna watch the Olympics? Get okay, all these, uh, you know, these different athletes that have been training for years, put all their money, okay, into you know, uh, into perfecting their art, and then it's just shut down. That's devastating. What are they gonna? They turn into a? They gonna kill themselves? A lot of a lot of athletes just gonna kill themselves because that was their life, and they have nothing else to do. That was their glory, right? People gloried after them because they were able to do a certain sport at a high level. Yet now what's going to happen? A lot of a lot of time that that sport is their life. That's they don't know anything else. They devoted their life strictly okay to that sport. Let me um I'm going to come back here cuz that reminds me of let me bring this scripture up. Paul talks about that that corruptible crown. Uh, yep. This is uh First Corinthians uh nine and twenty four. Know ye not that they which run a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may attain. So we we're running this race, okay? This marathon, meaning doing this work that we may obtain everlasting life. Just as an athlete, he trains to what to win that uh that prize. He doesn't train for second place. Every man that striveth for the masteries is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. So they put themselves through uh, extreme discipline, okay, to perfect the art of whatever whatever they're doing, okay, to uh, receive that cor that corruptible crown, to receive that medal, okay, that 10 seconds of fame, or they say the 15, 15 minutes of fame, okay, whether, okay, they were the fastest man on the planet Earth. Okay, and this particular year, they were the best boxer. Okay, you know, the best NBA player, the best pole vaulter. Okay, they did that to obtain a corruptible crown. But the work that we're doing, okay, we're doing that to uh, obtain an incorruptible crown. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beat up the air. Because we know, you know, what we're doing. We're, we know... What we're fighting for. This is not something that okay. I don't. I don't know. I'm just gonna, you know, just read a couple of scripts, do a video, but I'm not really sure what's happening. No, we know what we're doing, and we we know what we're doing it for. But I keep under my body, and bring it to subjection. Uh, that that discipline, least that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. So we even have an even greater responsibility. Okay, by keeping our bodies, our members. Okay, the scriptures talk about in uh, Colossians about mortifying your members uh, upon the earth. Okay, not not giving into the flesh because these people are totally given into the flesh, and now all these fleshly pleasures are now being taken away from them, and they're and they're going crazy. What about what about all these Americans that are on these drugs, that are on prescription drugs? I'm not even talking about street drugs. On prescription drugs, there's going to be lockdown. People, el the elderly that are on, you know. That 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 are on these medications, that are on these breathing devices, they go, they're going to be the first ones to go. What about children? What about these these women that are, that have that have children, okay? Uh, that are that are pregnant. That have, uh, these people that have you know extreme medical conditions. This right there, this this could take them out, okay? Any you know this place is fragile, and the Lord is showing you how fragile this place is. He has the power. He has the power over life and death. Okay, and he can take you out over. He can take you out at any given time. And what he's doing right now, he's taking America out. Okay, this is a dying. This is a dying country, like they say. Uh, this is a dying breed. Okay, Esau is a dying. Is a dying uh, civilization. Okay, the last civilization on the earth before the Israelites were going to come into rule under Yahushua. Okay, 
And what did the Lord say? He said he was going to break this place down. Let's go back to Isaiah. I'm going to start at 8 again. The mirth of Tabor ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoiceth endeth, the joy of the heart ceaseth. Where's all the joy at? Where's all the party in the streets? Where's all these festivals? All those things getting canceled. Okay? Be people that had jobs, they, they are wondering how the hell are they going to pay their rent. People that they, they had no idea something like this can just, take, can just blind them. Blindside them. People with two, three jobs, gone. And like I said earlier, most people are living paycheck to paycheck. So what are you going to do? Your landlord is going to still want that check. You're not going to be able to pay your credit card bills. You were you you you're worried about your um your your you know your uh your uh credit score because you because you want to buy a new house. You you know you worried about you know paying off that that student debt because this this is your world. Did you when somebody takes away your world, what are you going to do? Okay, you're going to try to find comfort in any way. Okay, yet there is no comfort anymore. You're going to have to, you Americans are going to have to deal with reality. Okay, and the reality of the 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 the, uh, the reality of the matter is you're going to be destroyed. But the Lord is not going to destroy you, hit you, just you know, shoot you in the head. No, that could happen, right? He's going to break your ass down. It says. They shall not drink wine with a strong with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. See, and, and basically this is what's happening. Every house is being shut up. People are literally being shut up inside their houses. OK, these businesses are literally being shut down. OK, what about all these people that these mom and pop, these small businesses that own these restaurants? The restaurant business totally being destroyed. OK, um, I was watching a video earlier. They're saying like these restaurants are pretty much it's only like, a, you know, basically a, a, a delivery, delivery or, you know, a takeout. And then that's going to come to a point where they won't cut off all that. OK, let me uh, let me continue. There is a crime for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Okay, America's mirth is being taken away. There's no more fun in games. You can't turn on. You turn on the TV. You gotta get confronted with the coronavirus. Okay, you gotta. You niggas gotta watch the news. Okay, everything is pretty much bad. All the news is bad. All is, it's all grim. Okay, it's all negative. It's all a, a negative uh, 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 energy. Or or negative news. Bad news. Okay, it ain't, it's not good tidings. Let me read that again. It says, it says, there is a crime for wine in the streets. All joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone. So the mirth of this place is gone. Now it says, there's a crime for wine in the streets. That, that wine is, is representative of that truth. Okay, the, the, the truth, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come to a point where people are going to be crying out for the truth. They're going to be looking for the truth. They're going to be looking for those, those guys that are on the street corner wearing, wearing dresses. They're gonna be, they're gonna, you know who they're going to look for? They're going to look for Great Millstone. They're going to be looking for a great millstone. And then what's going to happen? We're not going to be there. We're not going to tell you what how, how to get right with y'all Bashima Shai. Because it's going to be too late. The doors are going to be shut. And you're going to be dead. So what, what, are you, what are you going to do, um, um, you know, uh, eternally? You're going, to be, you're going to be going through. You're going to be going through hell. While we're, while we're going to be, uh, you know, rejoicing for heart. It says, in the city, it's left. Desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction. So that's what this place is coming down to. This place is going to be a, like a ghost, a ghost, a, a, um, what, a ghost city. What do they call it? A ghost city, a ghost town. All right, with everything shut up, broken into. You know, uh, like a, a zombie apocalypse movie. You know, you watch where you know. If you see, if you see somebody, you. It's like you haven't seen anybody in, in, you know, weeks. If you do see somebody, you don't trust them. You 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 looking at them, you know, you, you kind of amazement because most of the, most of the time they gonna they gonna be looking to, to, to take what you got to kill you or maybe even eat you. So we're coming into that time, okay? Yet the the servants of Yah Bashmashai, we are going to be good. Yeah, it's gonna get rough for us. Yeah, things are gonna happen. That but that was written. That's just a trial of our faith. We understand that that's a trial of our faith.
But to you other people, this is just it's all bad for you. You're you're going to, you're basically you're you're uh, being set up to be destroyed. This is Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord power. Behold, my servant shall eat. OK, people raiding the grocery store. I mean, I've been in a couple of grocery stores. Pretty much all the canned goods are pretty much done. You know, uh, canned beans, you know, um, certain items are pretty much they're taken off. the. You know, people bought them all toilet paper. You can't even find toilet paper. OK, uh, went to another store, all the dry, uh, you know, rices and, and beans, dry, dry beans and rices and stuff like that. That's all gone. You can see things are getting pulled off the shelves. OK, at an exponential rate. And it's going to come to where people are going to be fighting over these goods. Why? Because they they have to feed their family and they don't give a goddamn about, you know, uh, you and your well-being. Well, the scriptures talk about that. Let me bring that out real quick and I'm going to come back and talk about that in Matthew. Bear with me. I'm pulling it up right now. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound. And iniquity is abounding. Righteousness is not abounding in this world. Iniquity is abounding in this world. People are murdering each other. Adultery is being committed. Okay, people um, are, 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 you know, being homosexuals and lesbians. Okay, there oh all type of abominable foods are being eating. Okay, wickedness is being glorified. Okay, wickedness right now is being glorified. The law is slack. Okay, justice is slack. Judgment is slack. Okay, in this land, America. Iniquity is abounding right now. Everywhere you go, you you go you go outside, iniquity is abounding. Okay, this whole structure of this government is is formed on witchcraft and iniquity. Okay, you turn on the TV. All types of iniquity. You go on the internet, all types of iniquity. Okay? All types of sickness. Okay, it's happening in this world. So it says again, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So there is no love for your, your neighbor, your brother. There, there's no such thing as that. People are cutthroat. People want to kill each other. You, Number one, you you live you you know you got neighbors more times than not you don't even talk to your neighbor you will literally walk past them, but that's how it is because these people these people deserve death, okay? And the Most High parent death for these people. That's basically what's happening in the planet Earth right now. No, there's no, it's not going to get better. No, no, America's not going to bounce back. No, your situation is not going to get better. Okay, you're going to get a better job. Well, let me bring out. Uh, I'm gonna come back to Isaiah. Because it tells us that in Ecclesiastes, man, you got you people are done. You're done out here. OK, the most High is preparing destruction for you. OK, and you're going to be and you're going to be seeking to be comforted. But but there is going to be no comforter. OK, our comforter is your Abba Shai. He's comforting. He's comforting us right now as we speak. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12. And one, remember now the creator in the days of our youth, when the evil days come not. Okay, the evil day is here. Nor the, 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 uh, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. You know, when this knowledge is still here. Okay. And the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. So the keepers of the house are, are starting to tremble. They're starting like, whoa, wait, hold on. Damn, if something like this can happen so quick. I'm not even prepared. OK, I, I live I live in a city uh, uh, amongst a whole bunch of people. OK, I go to the grocery store, people fighting over, you know, uh, toilet paper, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the children, the, uh, the children, the schools are, are shut down. Every time I turn on the news, they're saying, you know, more people are dying from this virus. You know, I, I just lost my job. I don't. Oh, damn. I thought I had job security. I don't have job security. Oh, I wanted to go to the gym. I can't go to the gym and get a workout. I wanted to go on a run. I can't go on a run. I wanted to go to the club. I can't go on the club. I can't go to the club. How, how the hell am I going to pay my bills? How the hell am I going to pay, you know, my rent? 
It says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves. You have these mighty men. They're going to be they're going to be bowing, bowing, bowing down, holding their growing, you know, hold, holding their bows, you know, crying. We'll talk about the mighty men of Babylon trembling. And the, see, yeah, all you all you proud people here that, you know, you pride yourself in your strength. You pride yourself in your knowledge and your wisdom. That's all going to be confounded. And it's being confounded right now. And the Lord is going to show you how low you are. And the grinding and the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. OK, see that it says the grinders cease, meaning this work. OK, a, a lot of people are going to lose their job. The damage has already been done. I don't I don't see this place bouncing back. It's, it's going to be a downward spiral from here. And this is the this is Esau's plan to bring in that RFID microchip. He, he he's 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 pretty much crashing this society. Okay, give me a second. This man is pretty much crashing this society, okay? And we see that. Well, the scriptures tell us that this will happen. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. Everything's gonna be shut down. It's gonna be a ghost town. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Yeah, even yeah, even the entertainment business. And that's to, to entertain you people. To take your mind off, you know, the hell that you're catching. You go to the Middle East, they ain't got no entertainment business. Okay, those people are catching nothing but pure hell. They don't have, you know, they can't put on headphones and vibe out. They can't go to a concert. Okay, they can't, uh, you know, listen to their favorite artists. Okay, whether it be rap or whether it be, you know, rock. Okay, jam, jam out, go to the club. All that's being brought low. Those, those people are going to lose their money. These, these, entertain, these entertainers. They're not going to they're not exempt because their 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 whole life is predicated on what the consumer listening to their music, going to their concert, buying their albums. Now, they're being brought low. So everybody is being brought low right now. And who and who's going to um, who's going to be exalted? Well, the men of the Lord. OK, well, let me let me uh, bring this scripture out because it talks about that or that Isaiah. The Lord said he shall make a man more precious than fine gold. Just give me a second while I pull this bad boy up. Yep, this is uh, Isaiah 13, 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So the men of the Lord, as you people are, are being abased, the men of the Lord are going to now be abounded. OK, we're going to be as precious gold. OK, the highest level gold that you can find. And you can't ain't nobody. Very few people in this world have just been walking down the street and actually found gold. You you got to take it take work to get gold. OK, you got to go in the mines. OK, you got to dig. You got to go in the stream. You got to you know, you got to you got to do a really laborious work to get a, a, just a, a, a just a piece of gold. Just a little just a little speckle of gold. OK, let me read this again. It says. Therefore, I will make it says uh, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So the highest level gold that you can have, the, go, the golden wedge of Ophir. OK. The men of the Lord are going to be more precious than that. All right. In these times, because the truth, the truth is going to be the hottest commodity out there. And the truth is going to be in store in the, in the minds of the, of the men of the Lord that have been building up. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, their, 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 their treasures in heaven now. Not as you people have been building up your treasures uh, on earth. And you can see that th that's being totally wiped out. All, your whole life can change in 30 seconds. Okay? Your whole, the stock market can crash, everything. You're done. Your 401k, your retirement. They can say, we don't have, we don't have the money. What are you gonna do now? OK, you had you had all this. You had all this power in this world. Now all your power is being brought low. What can what can you do? You can't do anything. OK, but the, the men of the Lord, they're being they're going to be raised up. OK, we're going to be raised up on a high level where people are going to be trying to find out. They're going to be trying to, you know, make sure that we're good, you know, uh, 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 try to please us. Because we're going to be an image of Yahweh Shemashah on the earth. And we're going to know what's going on. And we're going to be protected 
by uh, the, the Lord's angels. Now, I was reading this earlier. Let me go out um, real quick in Psalms. Psalms 34. Just give me a second. Let me pull it up. Yep. Uh, Psalms 34 and 7. It says, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So the Lord, he actually has angels camped around the men of, uh, uh, of the Lord. Okay? He has angels camped around us protecting us. Okay? And it's going to get real bad out here. And the Lord is going to protect his men. It's going to be it's going to be it's going to be uh, as a miracle. OK, uh, uh, you know, a tornado might go through and, you know, a man of the Lord, he's he's totally fine. Or, you know, Marshal Luce come in, kill a whole bunch of people in the, in the men of the Lord is totally fine. Or the Lord raise them up and give them spiritual power. I mean, there's so many different instances, different examples of how the Lord is going to save his men, which we read about that. OK, uh, the, the, the things that are written for time are written for our learnings. OK, our learning. Through faith and patience of the scriptures, we might have hope. And that's our hope that the Lord is going to deliver us. Yet, what do we do? Uh, the contract is we have to do the work. OK, we have to we have to, uh, you know, uh, you know, live up to our in, uh, our end of the deal. OK, in the in the in, in our end of the deal was to finish his work to the end. And we were going to be delivered while the Lord was going to destroy this place. OK, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't going to be no. You, America's not bouncing back. It's, this world is not bouncing back. Okay, the kingdom is about to be established. We're that much closer to the kingdom of heaven. Okay, we're that much closer to America being destroyed. Okay, by thermonuclear missiles. We're that much closer to this man bringing in the RFID Merkel chip. Okay, we're that much closer to Jacob's trouble. And all you Israelites that that have been lollygagging. Okay, you better get your act together. Are right, you have very you have a very short time to repent. And if you don't want to repent, the Lord, you already know what's going to happen. The Lord going to get you. Let me, uh, let me just finish up in Isaiah and then we'll just close out the lesson. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a start at, uh, 13 again. I'm just going to read 13, 14. Isaiah 13, 14. Therefore, thus said the Lord power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Now, that's self-explanatory. OK, I mean, we, you know, we break it down, but that you you can read it yourself. That's what's going to happen. The Lord's servants are going to be a OK in these times. We're going to be tested, but we're going to be a OK in these times. And you people that are without the Lord, you're going to suffer and you're going to die. OK, that's basically what's going to happen. All right, that I'm, I'm gonna just put it to you plainly, y'all. The, the service of y'all, Bashma Shah, they're gonna be good. Okay, we're, they're gonna eat. We're gonna eat. We're gonna drink. Okay, we're gonna be of a, a of a joyful spirit, while you're gonna be of a sorrowful spirit. Okay, the mirth is gonna be taken away from you. Your heart is gonna be dropping. You're gonna be starving. You're not gonna know what's going on. Okay, and then you're gonna die. You're gonna be destroyed. So that's what's prepared. For you people here in Babylon, okay, utter destruction, okay. But for us, man, it's hey, man, it's gonna be all good, man. It's the time we've been waiting for, okay. So you know, hey, I, I pray that you brothers, will, uh, you know, edify with the lesson. Keep pushing, keep striving, uh, keep striving, keep doing the work, okay. And and the Lord, He's gonna deliver us, okay. Have that faith. Until next time, shalom to the light.